morning, all. It is I, your internet uncle. Welcome back to the fourth age. So overnight, I did some chiseling. I did go down and I got some more andesite rocks. Uh, I actually decided to make two copper pickaxes last night, thinking that I would do more, you know, andesite rock extraction. Uh, and then I got bored and didn't do much of any of it, <laughs> as is my way. So that part's fine, but I did take the liberty of doing some actual chiseling. Oh, look, our tree grew. Hi. Uh, and now we have all of the windows on our main house here completely blueified. Wonderful, gorgeous, love it. Looking good. Looking great. I, I adore it. I absolutely adore it. Um, I almost got started on the other buildings. This one can wait because it's not even nearly finished. Uh, but this one, I'm kind of thinking of making it a little shorter. I don't know. Having all the buildings the same height just seems a little boring to me. So I was thinking about varying the heights of the building, of the buildings. And I was also thinking that, okay, I guess I'm not going to open that one in case this butterfly decides to come in. Um, I was thinking that as a storage building, I probably wouldn't want to have it open, you know, to the elements. So I was considering lowering it by like at least one block, maybe two. Like one and a half, I guess, because I, unless I make some ladders or get real weird here, I'm only going to be able to really reach the third, you know, comfortably. I would only be able to reach the third block up anyway, which means we can just delete all this and bring the ceiling down to here instead. So I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I keep thinking about it and then I keep going back and I'm like, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Um, so let me know what you think. The smithy is already going to be taller. So it, it may not be entirely necessary to have, you know, the buildings a different height, but I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about. Uh, the other thing on today's docket is that this brain hide is finished. I see that we only have four liters of braining solution. And I also see that our animal brain is already spoiled. Uh, I thought we are going to need more water. I thought we had another bucket somewhere. Because, like, I could put another scraped hide in there and use up those last four liters. But by that point, our other brain will be totally spoiled and I don't want to waste it. Oh, that's right. We have the honey in the other bucket. All right. Well, we're going to make a barrel then, I think. We'll need it eventually anyway, so it's not a big deal. Here. There we go. Uh, then we can put that in there. There we go. And then we can just move all 14 liters over here. Perfect. So close, little soybeans. Keep going. Keep going. Right here. I don't know how many of these are going to fit. I guess I think three. Can I do a fourth? Nope, just three. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Slowly but surely building up our leather stocks. Let's get this one on the fire. Well, I hope that's enough. <laughs> I did go out and get some more firewood, but it's all in the smithy right now. Oh, yeah. I have a shelf there. I have it there for a reason. Let's try using it. Uh, I am going to have to make some more food. We are going to have to check the um, fish traps because I'm down to my last little bit of honey and my last 32 jerky, which is not a great state for me to be in. But <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we're going to put these blocks on here underneath the glass. There we go. There we go. Now we don't have random pieces of dirt hanging all around our, our van here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. 
sold. Uh, I strongly suspect that we are eventually going to need to go on an exploration mission because I don't think that we're catching nearly enough um, seashells to make this a useful endeavor. Uh, I think we'll be done with our buildings, you know, long before we manage to catch enough seashells. So we're going to have to go exploring and hope that we find a chalk area or a lime area or something. <laughs> but uh, that can wait. Uh, let's see. There we go. Was it enough? Ooh, it's not going to be enough, is it? Let me go grab some more wood from the from the smithy. Yeah, that was a little close. Kind of getting to the point where it was going to start dropping. Oh, I forgot we had more. Well, still, I guess I would like to make some more bread. Especially if we're going to be going on an exploration mission. Bread is just so convenient because it only takes up one slot of your inventory. And you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to find more stuff to cook or whatever. All right. 13 leather. Uh, can we make backpacks? Because I don't have the backpack mod on. That's right. Because the other backpack mod that I usually use takes an iron bar as well. But since I don't have that mod installed right now, we can make a backpack. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only contain torches. Get out of the way. Boom. Beautiful. Six whole slots. That's great. I do wish I could somehow deconstruct these hunter's bags and get like at least one piece of leather back. But unfortunately, that is not in the cards. So we're going to have to just deal without it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love more inventory space. Love it, love it, love it. I don't mean to scare you chickens. I'm trying to check on your food. Nope, you guys do need some food. Let me get you some more. Now that both of you are, you know, in your happy home. I would like to feed you properly. Excuse me, guys. I know you keep coming over because you're hungry and you keep coming over to your food tray and then I just keep scaring you. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we have 31. Uh, I guess I better be careful about how I do this. Because eventually I'm not going to be able to get up here anymore. And by eventually, I mean right now. Um, all of my... All of my ladders uh, are employed, you know, getting down. There we go. Uh, getting down to the mines. Hi, guys. You didn't fly off very far, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit on that little, sit on that little basket, baby. Hopefully those are fertilized. I guess I got to check next time we feed them. Okay, and then we'll take the last six of these and we'll continue with our floor here. Oops, oops. Beautiful, beautiful. It almost sort of looks like an inside over here, doesn't it? <laughs> Amazing. All right. Guess I'm going to have to dig up some more fire clay too, huh? Hmm. I was just taking a look at the map. I guess west or maybe north is going to be our best bet for exploration. I think we might do that tomorrow, actually. <gasps> Yay, soybeans, you're ready. I'm so proud. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to replant these again. It's just low fertility soil. Uh, we are, however, going to fill in these holes. Because it is just unsightly. There we go. We're going to leave the water just for this guy until he's ready. But uh, yeah, slowly but surely, we're going to fill these back in. And then our lawn will really be looking great. Okay. I guess what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day is probably just uh, making some bread. Amaranth grain. All right. I made some copper overnight. I went ahead and chopped up all of the, all but 23 because my hammer broke. I went ahead and chopped up um, all of the copper chunks that we had. And uh, I may freely tell you, we are stacked for copper right now, friends. We are stacked. <laughs> um, I also dug up some more of the clay deposit. Uh, as you can see, it is looking a little rough over there, but uh, we are we are also solid on blocks. Do I have no? Um, I have a list of things we are going to go exploring today, but first we need to make sure that the chickens are fed, and I would like to make a new lantern. I I think I'm just going to leave this lantern here. In fact, I probably will leave it here. And uh, then I'll take this new one with me. That way there'll be a little something on the way home to see where the heck our house is. Uh, I also did not go and get any acacia um, for the raft, but we will be doing that as well because I have absolutely zero intention of swimming to whatever the next continent is, wherever it may happen to be. Uh, while that's heating up... Oh, hello, sun. Came out from behind that cloud, didn't you? <laughs> let's, uh, let's get some food. I did make amaranth bread, so we have plenty of that. It's not the most amazing bread known to mankind, but it should be good enough for us. Hi, guys. Sorry. I just want to make sure you're topped up. Uh, oh good, two fertile eggs. All right, wonderful. We will be getting some new chickens here for too much longer. I am pleased. I also cleared out my box, uh, so we are going to take this box with us. To be honest, a lot of the stuff that I didn't need to be taken on this trip, I just stuffed in a cabinet. It's so true to real life, isn't it? <laughs> so true to real life. Uh, oh, oh. I think a lot of our uh, acacia trees popped up overnight. That's absolutely fine. Because I am going to need to chop those boys down. Uh, you know what? I'm sitting here about to try and make a bloody um, idiot. I'm sitting here about to try and make a plate and I don't have a hammer because the hammer broke. Well, that was a waste, wasn't it? That's fine. Luckily, we have plenty of charcoal and plenty of trees, so we don't super need to worry about it, but it is a little obnoxious. <laughs> there we go. I guess in the meantime, we can continue to build this, uh, continue to put the roof on this building, continue to build this smithy. Ow, ow, ow. Dummy. <laughs> okay. Especially dense when Bricklayers gives us the horizontal only option. Let's use it. Mm -hmm. So much easier. Horizontal only. I can, I can be taught. I can learn lessons. I promise. Is that butterfly? 
What is up with these butterflies? Are they cold outside? It's still 28, okay? You cannot possibly be chilly right now. Are you gonna head for the corner like every butterfly ever does? There you go. There you go. Good job. Apparently we're closing, <laughs> closing the door after the butterfly has left the smithy, I guess. This metaphor is getting a bit muddled. Here we go, look a roof and hopefully no more crazy butterflies. Uh, it is too large in here to be any kind of, actually, you know what it might be because of this, which we're still using. So it's just gonna have to stay in there. I was gonna say, I think it's too large um, to count as any kind of interior space. But as a matter of fact, it might be only vertical. Wow, didn't know you could do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, it might be it might be because of this, which is fine. I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, all right, here you go. There you go. Uncle Yatsu, friend to animals. Um, I am going to have an upstairs permanently, so let's take this. Here we go. And then we can start putting the second story. It's really going to be more like a half story. There we go. Yeah, and we are going to need some trapdoors anyway, so might as well go grab those. We're waiting for this hammer to chill down. Yeah, just just take them all. Just take them all. There's 100% plenty more where that came from. Okay, then we can put one here. Uh, yeah, let's definitely put one there because we're going to need some more ladders. Uh, as a matter of fact, we don't have enough reeds to make more ladders, but I'm going to steal them from here. There we go. Much better. All right. I think... I think the windows up here might be on this side. I'm just afraid that otherwise the front of this building is going to be mucho boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe the upstairs will have windows on all four sides. All right, and the nice thing about slabs is we can put these back together to form another block. Boom, baby. Beautiful. All right. Yes, in the meantime, since that is still not cooling down enough, uh, let's come chop down some acacia trees and make a uh, make a raft. Um, you know what? Let's chop down one of these. Y'all are standing a little too close together. <laughs> one of you has to go. seed. Well, we can put another one of these somewhere else. Here, we'll just back that off a little bit. Okay. Alright. As a matter of fact, I doubt highly that we have enough reeds for enough rope for one of these either.
Okay, that should just about do us. So I know we have a few more. Uh, did I? No, I guess did I keep them in my inventory? Yes, I did. I know we have a few more papyrus laying around. That should be enough to make a raft and uh, an ore. There we go, finally. The hammer is done. Let's put you back. Are you still? Oh, you are. Good, 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 good. Uh, copper plate, please. Okay. Did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> I actually put some water in the smith. Amazing. Impressive. And here is the candle in question. Beautiful. Candle. I think it's like this. Nope. Is it this way? Nope. Okay. Ah. <laughs> There we go. Okay, this one I'm going to keep with me. Uh, the other one, yeah, I think I'll just leave over there just so that we have something to mark where the actual settlement is on our way back. Who knows what time of day it's going to be. And uh, that, should, that should get us going at least. It is now time to make a raft. Uh, we need... One, two, three, and then I think another two. Yeah, for the ore. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good <laughs> good for us. Uh, any reeds that we find, we're going to have to uh, chop down. Uh, there we go. All right, acacia raft, acacia ore. Uh, we are going to take some firewood with us because we are not silly. Not today, anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Put some more there, and I guess we'll get one final batch of uh, fire clay on the... There we go. One final batch of fire clay on the fire here. Okay. We fed the chickens. We got a new lantern. New goal. Explore. We need lime. Why do you do me like that? Thank you. Yeah, we need lime and we need it badly. Farewell, settlement. We shall see you, you know, two or three days hence. <laughs>